Are you having any type of issues with your Xbox 360 DVD ROM drive? Is it not reading a game? Does it say put an Xbox 360 disc in or game in? Um, will it not open or close the tray? Well, here are some simple fixes. Now, if it says reading on the screen, you more than likely need to push your top part of your DVD-ROM down. Um, if it won't read a game, your laser needs to be cleaned, or your laser is going bad if you have had that 360 for a while. Which in that case, you can buy a laser, or just buy a whole new DVD-ROM and do a DVD-ROM swap, which, I, which I'm going to be showing you how to do. Now, if you have a tray problem, you can simply do a swap too. Um, but if it, if you DVD ROM in your 360 will not read any type of game, or if it reads one game but it won't read the other and it's perfectly clean, more than likely you need to open it up and you're gonna have to clean your laser. Clean the laser with rubbing alcohol and a soft cloth or tissue or something that's soft to wipe the lens off with on the, which is the laser lens um, but for if you got a jam tray more than likely you're gonna have to buy a new DVD ROM and do the DVD ROM swap now for the reading uh, if it says reading on your screen when you put a disc in uh, you might need to do buy a new DVD ROM too uh, as it's not holding the game disc the top needs to be pushed down a little bit more above the DVD ROM so your best bet is buying a new one too and just doing a DVD ROM swap which is not that hard once you get in 360 and get your DVD ROM out so but if you're gonna for this DVD ROM swap you're gonna need to figure out which kind of DVD ROM you have in your 360 so you want to open up the tray and you want to go to Google images and you want to type in Xbox 360 DVD ROMs and you want to find which one you got in your 360 now where you get a new one at is you want to type whatever whichever one you got which is if it's a Samsung this is a Samsung or if you got the Hitachi you want to go on eBay and find that that drive and buy it. Um, this one was thirty dollars. The one that I had swapped out. This is the old one, but the one that I swapped out, I got it for thirty dollars. A new one, uh, free shipping. But so you're gonna want to open up your case once you have figured out what you got and you ordered your DVD ROM. You had to unplug the cables from the motherboard which connect to the DVD ROM you just want to unplug it from the back of the DVD ROM and you want to take the DVD ROM out and set it down now you're going to have to you're going to need a screwdriver and this one does not have a bottom on it but most of them will have a bottom you're going to want to have to unscrew the bottom once you have unscrewed it take the bottom part off and this board right here, the one that was originally in your 360, you're going to need to take that out. Now here's a little clip here. You're going to have to push that clip in so the board will pop up like that. And then once you get it out, you're gonna want, you see the four ribbons going to it. You've got one right here, one right here, one right here, and there's gonna be one below. Right there, you're gonna have to unplug the ribbons going into this board. And you're gonna have to, when the new one gets there, you're gonna have to take the bottom part off of the new one, take the same exact board out. Don't get these switched up now. You're gonna want to put the one it's out of your old one and put it into the new one. You're going to want to connect all of these ribbons back into this board 
put it back like exactly like you got it out when you just push that block in to get it out and you want to put it back in and put the bottom back on once all the ribbons are plugged back up you want to put the bottom back on put the screws back in now the only other thing you're going to have to do is to, if it doesn't come with the front piece you're going to have to put that silver xbox 360 piece it just, just clips on and clips off you clip it off, clip it off with the old one and stick it on the new one and then once you have done all that you want to plug it back up to the 360 turn it on open the drive up DVD ROM up the tray put a game in and it should read the game fine you got a brand new, three, a brand new 360 DVD ROM tray and drive uh, no problems it's just an easy DVD ROM swap um, so you don't have to worry about any of the tray problems or laser problems um, you need no firmware or anything no flashing so it's just an easy DVD ROM swap as a solution if you have any issues with any of this please feel free to send me a message, leave it in a comment, rate, and thanks for watching. This is Firestorm ERC.